Hello, hello, hello. It is Kim at Farmhouse Craftaholics, and I am here because I was working on my printables today. Now, if you don't know, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but if you don't know, I have a printable club that every month I make new printables for my gang. And, oh, hello. Every month I make new printables for my gang, and then uh, they get new ones with a couple of videos every month. And today I thought, you know what? I'm just going to do the crafting videos right here with you guys. And if you want to get a hold of the, the printables, there should be a link below, and I'm going to add one after the Facebook Live to the description. So if you're watching the replay, double tap the screen, and you will see it. Um, and I'm going to let you know that these are only available from tomorrow, when I change everything over, to... November oh my gosh November 14th all right hello hello so from now till November 14th these are going to be in the printable club the previous ones are leaving tonight the sunflower ones so if you're smart you join now you get the sunflower ones today and then you get these tomorrow all for the one price because it's a one monthly fee right and it's it's as simple as that so it's $8.95 a month just so you know, I don't want to, you know, scare anybody off. I think it's a great value. So what'll happen is you'll get all these printables that you just download and keep on your computer and you print them out whenever you want. And you will also get um, a video, this one, I'll put it in the print club for the month and you can just go into the print club and watch it there and refresh your memory. I also craft with these over the whole month on my Facebook page right here. So you'll see different projects with this same bundle as well. Okay. Uh, just so you know. And I'm gonna show you what's in here, of course, right? Da -da -da -da. Drum roll, please. But I'm going to let you know, I'm gonna work on a project too, a couple of projects, because I need to get those done and into the club tomorrow, and I figure like two birds, one stone, I'm not, you know, I'm pretty smart, let's, let's do all the work at once, right? <laughs> so this is what's in the club. Every month we have at least one page, and let's see if you can see that, all right? that you just print out and then put in a frame. I've got, I've got to take that one out of the frame that's back there. Put it in the frame and voila, you have instant decor, right? Now don't mind this little edge. It fits right inside an eight by 10 frame. This is an eight and a half by 11 print. Prints right out on the regular, um, hello. It prints right out on regular paper or in this case, I printed on cardstock. There's a whole bunch of other things you can do too. That's just one Donna, right? So there's, this is the first one, right? So if, that's your thing awesome do that and then for those that are want a little more sort of vintage I've been kind of feeling a little bit of the vintage I went ahead and did this one too just because why not right because I can so these are my creation guys they are for personal use only okay unless you're members of my business group but for you that's not a member of my business group um, my business club like a paying member these are for personal use only. That means you can make them and give them as gifts and you can make them for yourself, but you may not sell the product, okay? Or you may not share or, or redistribute or sell this bundle in any way. So, just so you know, right? Oh, I love this one. I know, Donna, I kind of went both ways, right? So if, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a, a slight bit of a pattern on here too. It, it looks kind of uh, three-dimensional. And I just think, you know what, it's Christmas and there's more to it than just Santa Claus, right? And I love the, the you know, the trees and the house and all that. So you could frame this one or you could frame both. It depends, right? I leave that up to you. You are smart women. So, all right. Now, I, I kind of got a little crazy with the stickers, okay? Um, because here's the thing. I know a lot of you guys have grandkids, right? And who doesn't love them some stickers? So let me tell you. I printed this on sticker paper. Now there's like a whole bunch of different things. Now all this will be over in the, when you click on the link and you go to the website to, to find out how to get yours for $8.95. Um, there'll be a pic, you'll see a, what everything is closer up than this, right? Um, now you can print them on what you want. You can print them on cardstock, you can print them on sticker paper, you can print them on paper paper, print them on photo paper, whatever you can print on, you can print these on, okay? I've done them all on my inkjet. Right, you can print them on laser too. Um, I just did them on inkjet because I didn't need to use my laser, and the inkjet is cheaper, right? So I have both, right? You probably have an inkjet if you have a laser, awesome. If not, the lasers at uh, the printers at the drugstore and Staples and the, the library they're all laser printers. So if you need a laser print for something, you can always go there, grab your print from there. Um, so there's these stickers for the grown ups, and then I made a set of these for the kids. Now think about the cutting skills and uh, the, so what they're basically going to do is like trim out each one of those things, which is great cutting skills and stuff like that. 
You can use these to make cards with. You can use them to decorate presents with. I just thought, like, why not? I'm kind of a little sticker, sticker crazy this, this month, right? So every month I have a bit of a theme and, and sticker seems to be at this month. So for us, or for the kids, I printed these out on stickers too. Now you could do this on cardstock. Those are, I think, more labels for your Christmas presents, but I also think you could, if you print it on sticker paper, you could just cut it out and put it on like a um, mason jar and uh, you know put a little mason jar recipe uh, and Merry Christmas from so-and-so right here. Stick that right on the mason jar on the front and that can be your Christmas present. Put a little bow on the top and ba-boom, you're done, okay? So I'm trying to make it easy for you, right? I don't want it to be hard. I want it to be fun, guys. Like, if I'm not doing, if I'm not making it fun, like, what am I doing here? <laughs> right? All right. These are uh, on cardstock for me, right? Again, you print on what you like. I thought I'll print some on cardstock. Basically, I'm just going to cut these out and attach. I'm going to use these today, actually. I'm going to cut these out, attach a little... Um, um, string to them and you have your tags you just put them on like right on the back to to from whatever and they're kind of cute eh? so um, I think they're cute I have so much fun making these you guys I do I have so much fun now here back to the vintage vibe again I printed these it kind of goes with that second photo let me grab that second one I printed these on sticker paper for the same reason make labels from them um, you could so these kind of go together, right? You see that? The trees and the, the same type of background. So yeah, I just, I love how they, this worked out. So it's kind of two sets for the price of one, right? Um, so we have all those. And then I printed this, I printed this on sticker paper and I don't know if you can see it. It's got a very faint um, barn, not barn board, uh, shiplap type background. I would be able to trim this out and put it on different things, uh, presents, on, uh, Crafting, I'll be crafting with this later this month. I got some ideas for this as well, right? So I'm just, that's what's in there. There's eight pages of printables, right? Which you have seen. And then there is um, this video, which will have a couple of crafts on it. And then of course, uh, which will be in the print club. It'll be there. You'll be able to see this whenever you want all month, right? You won't have to hunt for it on my Facebook page. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, then I'll be crafting with it through this month too. You agree with Emmett? They're all awesome, awesome, Emmett. I'm glad I made you happy. See, Emmett is Donna's grandson, and if Emmett likes them, that means I got the grandkid vote, which is what I was kind of going for. So Emmett will be playing with these this month, I'm pretty sure, and I want to see you get Aunt Grandma to post your creations for us, right, so that we can see what you've been doing with them so you can inspire the other kids, the other grandkids around, okay? All right, so simple as this. This is going to be... Christmas tag, right? So, like, guys, all you need is cardstock, a pair of scissors, and some string. I don't, I don't want it to be hard. I want it to be fun, right? And then you can always go more, um, you know, more is better if that's your thing, right? You could uh, print this out and then stick it to wood and make a, a wooden tag, right? So I'm gonna just trim this out. So it's pretty easy. Just trim right around. Now on the cardstock, it makes it a little, a little more firm, right? Oh yes, let me remind you. The labels, before I forget, I wrote it down. If you want labels, I used full-size shipping labels from Avery, right? Um, they're shipping labels, so they're sticky on the back, but I use them like stickers, right? Because that's how I work. I don't I don't always use things as they are said they're supposed to be. <laughs> I think, what can I do with this? And I do it. So it's Avery 35126 if you want to buy the labels on Amazon or from Avery or from Staples. Um, but it's full size shipping label. It's just, it's literally one label, right? And then you can cut this down the way you want it. So I can peel this apart. See that? Now don't, don't cut it until you've peeled it. <laughs> Or, or I mean, don't peel it until you've cut it, right? So it's just a full-size label, and that's stickers. Stickers, simple, simple, easy, again. I always, always, always default to the simplest way to get the job done because if I overcomplicate it, then I, I, I uh, wind up making it too much work, and then things, too many things go wrong, and then I get frustrated, and then I get overwhelmed, and then I just don't do anything at all. 
and that is no good, right? So once I figured out if you keep it as simple as you can, you will actually get stuff done. Man, what a freeing um, experience that is. All right, so I do have a hole puncher. I could punch that hole out. I'm gonna try and get it with the scissors for now since I'm right here. All right, this might not work for me. You might need some smaller scissors in there. Let's see what I have. Oh, uh, hmm. I'm in the middle of moving my craft room, guys, so I've got like some of my stuff here, but not all of it. A lot of it's downstairs right now because we're waiting for some shelving to show up. If Ikea would ever get it back. All right, hang on. We're just going to do the best we can right now with what we have. Right, Emmett? That's how we work. So this is printed to look like it's got those metal um, grommets. We're already on it. All right, there we go. Oh, that worked. Okay, so I cut that out, right? Now you can make it a little prettier. And if you have a, a see, I have the mat and everything. I just don't have the exacto knife right here. <laughs> um, you can do that. And then I'm going to take some twine, or you can buy this. You can buy this at the dollar store. It's a pack of three, usually the red and white, the blue and white, and turquoise and white, maybe? Like baker's twine. It's very thin, right? So I'm just going to cut me a piece of twine. So I fold it in half, right? You with me still, Emmett? Fold it in half, so you want that loop, right? I'm going to push the loop through the back to the front, all right? Just like that. See that? Can you see that loop there? Pull it up. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna grab these ends and just go through that loop and pull it. And now you have, look, your tag hangs. <laughs> you might want, you might wanna do it with yarn, you might wanna, now I'm just gonna cut a, tie a, a knot a little further up. Hello, Paulette. Like so, okay. And because I've done this in cardstock, it's pretty decent. You can do a couple of layers of cardstock together. I'm going to cut the ends off. There you have it. It's just a cute little label for, you could put this on your Christmas tree. You could put it on your packages. Um, this is just one idea for this particular uh, label, right? Label, tag, whatever you want to call it. So there you go. Simple, easy peasy. You could put beads on here. You could put a bow on here. You could decorate the tag more. Put more sparkly stuff on it. Like there's a thousand ideas, guys. So, but pick one and do it, right? Just pick one and do it. So there's that. So we have one project done. Boy, that was tough, eh? <laughs> All right, so that one's finished. So in honor of Emmett, I have some colored cardstock. Right, which I'm going to fold in half. You can buy this at any Staples, whatever, places like that. I'm using my nail to make sure it's all even. Fold it in half. Then I take the back of my scissors and just score so it's a nice fold. Just use the back of your scissors or the back of your thumb. I often use my thumbnail, right? So you have a basic card going on there. I'm going to cut it in half and make it a bit smaller, right? So you don't need a giant card. But hey, if you want to make a big card for your teacher or for your grandparents or any somebody special, that's awesome too, right? So I'm going to take this fancy cutter thing I have and let's see if I can make this work. Now I'm going to, I'm going to shoot for the middle, but I'm not measuring right now because we don't need to waste your time like that, all right? But... I'm going to make two cards essentially. There we go. So now I have two cards. I can do one this way, like that. And I could do one this way. Oh, and look, that would fit right on there. If you wanted to just put that tag right on there, right? Cut it out and pop it on there and then decorate this. All right. So there you go. That's one more thing. So now I'm going to take one of the stickers. See that? Or labels or whatever you want to call it, right? And I'm going to cut it out. This is complicated, guys. Really complicated stuff. All right? And this also has a bit of a, a very sort of faint um, shiplap background. So you can trim right to the 
the green or you can trim the white and get some of the shiplack version. So I'm going to do that. I think that'll pop against the, uh, the red. I'm just going to leave like a huh, probably a sixteenth of an inch around it. This would be, this is great cutting stills for your kids. watch it's like being in preschool again all right so there we have there we have this the labels ready right you get it and then you just basically this is probably the hardest part just to get it to peel off because you've used the single label there we go just like that all right so that label is ready and then you before you stick it down, kind of eyeball where you want it to go, because once you stick it down, it's there. It's gonna stay stuck, right? Voila, a card. So that you have a card, which you can fill out on the inside, right? Just like that. It's Again, guys, I don't wanna do it complicated because I do want it to be something that you will actually use, right? I don't want you to just buy them and let them sit there and not do anything. That's a waste of your money, and I'm a budget crafter. I don't want you to waste your money. <laughs> I want you to try things, and so you can get yourself a little card like that, and then you can take something like, now I don't have my glue gun going. You could make yourself a little twine bow, or a buffalo plaid bow, or you can decorate this card pretty much any way you want. I think this could keep the grandkids busy for quite a few hours. Put a little bow on there. You could hole punch it. Um, stamps. Uh, if you have the the stamp, uh, the things that cut the edges, like paper crafting stuff. So it just is simple. Okay. So there's that. So we've got two done so far. That's pretty easy, right? We can manage that. And like I said, these would go on a mason jar, um, a pickle jar, if you've got it um, uh, cleaned out. Got a mason jar here. This is a small one. You'd need probably to go on a bigger one, or they might fit. Now they're a little too big for the small jars, so it would fit on the bigger jars. You know, the the quart, I think it is. These are the pints, right? So you can see, I just pulled a bunch of stuff out and thought, what can I, what can I play with today, and use these, right? So we have, so we have two things done, just like that. Let's see if I can put these where you can see them. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> wow, and there's a little bow. And then what else can we do today? Oh, you know what I wanted to do? So these are something you could take these and just put them all over. You could, uh, I think you could make a game out of these somehow. I haven't figured out how yet, but give me a, give me a couple of weeks and I probably will come up with some sort of game that you could do with these because there's, yeah, it could be fun. Some kind of scavenger hunt or something like that. Like, guys, just... Let the brain go wild, right? God gave you a creative brain. This is what it's for. All right, so now these are also stickers, right? So I'm thinking, in my mind, right? I'm kind of thinking, let's just pretend I'm writing my Christmas cards, which I probably should start doing now. And I've got it written, so, Merry Christmas. Mom and Dad. All right. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to put my card in here. Did I get the right one? Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong card. We're going to pretend. <laughs> We're going to put this card in here for now. We're going to pretend that I got the right one. I grabbed the wrong card, okay? So Merry Christmas, Mom and Dad. And then I can take these stickers and they're kind of, you can cut them out like a whole bunch of little squares, right? So I'm gonna just use my doodad again, but you can totally just use the scissors. How many times am I gonna say it? Don't overcomplicate it. Oh, as many times as you need to hear it, right? So. So 
So you can cut them like that. And which one do I want? I'm doing all of this without using my glasses. I'm trying to <laughs> be a smarty pants. Now you're gonna have a little bit at the bottom here because I couldn't quite fit one more label in there, but that's okay. You can just cut that off and use that like as uh, let the kids decorate it, right? And make personalized stickers or something. Right? So don't waste it. Right? All right, so you just cut them all out or you have the kids cut them all out and they become like this size. They are two inches by by one and a half right so if you need to know that for some reason all right so then you can just take your sticker like i say this is the hardest part because we use the single label but it is the easiest way to get stickers made if you're not going to use the print and cut and all that on your all right where was it oh yes all right so i made the fabulous card all right i'm gonna pull that out because you pretend that i put my card in there because I'm such a good daughter-in-law, right? And then I can use these stickers, I can put them all over, or I'm, I'm a fan of doing them on the back, you know what I mean? You could also just trim that out if you wanna go around it like, um, and make it a little more shaped. Like, just use your scissors and go around it, like, I'll show you what I mean. In case you're curious as to what the heck I'm talking about here. You know the print and cut on um, the Cricut and things like that? which never works for me. I don't have a Cricut, I have a Silhouette. Um, well, okay, so I'm just gonna trim about a sixteenth of an inch away from the letters and just follow the shape. And then I'm gonna just trim the corner. All right, so pull that apart. I'm gonna show you on this what it looks like. Just like that see that so you can trim it and play around with it and you know you can draw let's see if I have a marker here I can use Wow I'm having too much fun with these you guys like I could be here all afternoon so all right let's try a sharpie let's see what happens all right so if you wanted to you could trim you kind of draw around it and just follow. I'm not loving this, okay? I'll be honest, I'm not loving this, but you know what I mean? You can do what you like, and then just cut that out, all right? Um, it's, I'm not feeling it, but you do you. <laughs> so there you go. Um, so there's a bunch of ideas for you guys. Like I say, I'm, I'm gonna show you them again. So it's $8.95, $8.97 a month, sorry, US dollars. Um, every month we get a whole bunch of new printables, a couple of videos. This is going in there because this all needs to be in there tomorrow. This will be in there so that you have your crafts. And um, I'm actually going to split it into a couple of videos so that you will uh, you'll see this one and you'll see this one separate, okay, if you want. Or I can put them both together. It doesn't really matter to me. And you'll be able to download the printables and print them off at your house. Avery, where, what did I say? Avery, where is my paper? Oh yes, 35126 is the number if you want to order the Avery paper. It's good on laser and inkjet. Be careful, some print, some papers, labels, labels are only good for laser and some are only good for inkjet. This one's good for both. So just make sure you order the right one for your printer or the one that does both. I did it both because I have both kinds of printers, right? It wasn't expensive, it wasn't too bad. And you get a whole bunch of stickers and a whole bunch of fun. Like you could print off just nothing but like one page. Let's say you have a preschool class or something, right? You could print off nothing but this page. And you could do like 25 sheets of this. Each kid gets a sheet with stickers and then you let them go crazy in their preschool class to, you know, uh, that you don't have to print all of these. You can print one of them. You can print one of them over and over again. You can print all of them. You can, you know, don't print none of them. <laughs> I'm not going to say that. But yeah, so that's between you and your printer. Okay. 
So there you go, guys. That's what I wanted to hop on here and show you so I could get this video done and get my, my work finished for the day. And then I can be off doing my, my merry thing this afternoon. All right. Love you all. Have a great day. So uh, link is down at the bottom. The link will be up at the top. It's farmhousecraftaholics.com slash print club. Okay, in case you're wondering. But the link will be in the description if you double tap the screen or down in the comments. Um, I'll put it wherever, okay? And it's only going to be available from tomorrow, October 14th, 15th, until November 14th, and then it, it disappears. All right, guys, bye for now. Love you all.